So putting up holiday lights outside of your house, that's a tradition for a lot of people. Why each person does it is their own tradition. And in Burnsville, the lights became a story because of a letter dropped off in the dark. On a quiet street in Burnsville, a house lights up every year, the day after Thanksgiving. It brings joy to others, and that's what I wanted to do. And also, it makes me happy. It lifts my spirit, especially when it snows. For Adam, his spirit lifts making the display, remembering that there were times when his spirit did anything but lift during the holidays. Definitely a huge part of how I've gotten sober is knowing that I can do something with my hands or with my time, especially when a lot of those times I wouldn't do anything. I'd just be like, bah, humbug. I'm just going to go, you know, drain my sorrows and having a drink or something. And for his partner, Brandy, when the lights come on at their home, she's taken back to the person who brought so much light every Christmas. It was a big thing in our house and my mom has since passed. I feel like that's my connection to her during the holidays. Recovery and memory are the reasons why the house begins to glow every night between four and nine for the holiday season. Five days ago, however, they got a message about it. Went out to check the mail kind of as I was actually putting up more lights. I go to the mailbox and I see a cool red letter that said happy holidays on it. I'm like, oh. When Adam opened it, his excitement quickly turned to hurt. It was an anonymous letter from a neighbor calling his decorations an eyesore and then some. This is not what I was expecting. I went out to show Brandy. I'm like, can you believe this? Like, I was starting to get teary eyed because it's something I look forward to every year. And for those in recovery or going through hard times in the season, it's huge for someone to find an outlet. That was like, what? You know, it doesn't make any sense to me, and and that's why I was hurt, too. Brandy shared the letter online, and thousands of people wrote letters or came by with gifts and support, but what neither of them could shake was the hurt, not theirs. What they think is the letter writer might be hurting, too. So to that writer, they want to say something. Do you need us to bring you a meal once in a while? Because it's the two of us, and sometimes we have a little bit of extra. Or is it just hurt from me when you were younger? Like... I'm here to help. I also want to get to know your story. You know, see like if there's something we can do to accommodate or, you know, compromise. Just talk, be a neighbor, be friendly. The world is so unfriendly at times. It takes nothing to be nice and kind. They want to be your light, letter writer in the night. Just be your light if it's dark for whatever reason on your side of Riverwood Drive. Brandy and Adam also want to add Thanks to all who have reached out with gifts, but they ask instead of doing that, help out one of your neighbors as a thanks instead.